In this tutorial, we will learn how we can create a bloom effect like this in Blender Cycles Engine. Currently we are in EV, and we have this bloom option. We can use this nice feature to turn on and turn off a glow effect like this, around the lights and the emission objects. But if we switch over to Cycles, we see that there is no bloom option over here. So we cannot enable the glow effect quickly as we can do in EV. But we can create that glow effect also in Cycles through compositing process, so let us go to the compositor. By default, Blender has added one render layer and a composite node. If you are unable to see anything like this here, please turn on this Use Nodes option when you open it for the first time, you'll get these nodes. Now go to the Add menu, and from the Filter group, add one Glare node, and place it in between these two. Then change this Glare type, from Streaks to Fog Glow. We can go with these default settings. Now, let us render this output, and verify how it looks. It will take some time. Okay, so we get a glow effect like this, around the street lights. This is the easiest way to get a glow, just like the bloom option in EV. You can also animate this effect, by creating suitable keyframes on this mix factor. Here, if we enter the lowest value which is minus 1, the output will be completely devoid of any glow effect. So let us insert a keyframe for this value, at the current frame number. We can then go to say, frame number 50. Let us change the mix factor to zero for a full bloom and then insert a keyframe like before. It will now animate the bloom effect for our scene. And with this kind of a scene, which is at night time, sometimes it might look even better if we add some blur effect along with bloom. So go to the add menu and from the filter group, add a blur node and place it in between these two nodes. You can place it either before the glare or after the glare. The difference is not very significant. So the blur type should be Gaussian and use a small value, like 1, in the X field and also for Y. And the size can also be small, like 2. That's all we need for a bloom effect, but you can do much more than this. You can create a selective bloom for some specific object or a specific light, because you can separate out some material in a pass, or you can target one particular light source as well, through these pass options. But I guess it can be a topic for another tutorial, Today we just learned how to create bloom in cycles. And, we can also verify the final result by rendering this frame. It works both for EV and cycles. So, we get a bloom effect like this. Officially bloom is a term which is used only in relation to EV, but a similar effect can be easily created in cycles. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.